Welcome back to another video of Activerse Universe Today is a new Let's go. game Let's go Let's go And we got a what? We got a banger Woo! Banger Woo! Banger, banger, banger Let's go guys Let's Hope you guys have been enjoying y'all weeks, y'all days, y'all minutes, y'all hours. Hope you guys are enjoying life because I am, you know what I'm saying? I'm happy. I'm excited and I just got out of church, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully you guys go to church or else you're missing a lot of things. It's like, I put it to you this way, okay? Going. I go to church for a lot of many reasons for those that don't see the point let me pinpoint something for you You talk about how you want positive people around you You talk about how you want the right people around you You talk about how God first in your life in your bio on Instagram But if you don't put them first then you lying because in the Bible like he never seen somebody from what they say and said Oh, you love me so much like every time you see somebody that God favored he favored them because of their action Your action shows if you put in God first or not and another thing is throughout the week I'll go to church twice I want to go more every day will be nice an hour a day two hours a day I'll be nice because you basically program your mind to think alike like your creator and that's what you're supposed to do every day I mean I pray every day I stay in communication with, uh, with God but at the same time it's like going to church is like learning from people that are around you and people that are older than you and people that are like your leaders and people God has placed in a position because they have lived the lifestyle of what he wants them to live like learning from them is the best thing you can do it's like getting a mentor in business is getting a mentor in life It's again like a coach for working out what you can't do by yourself Self, with the other person motivating you encouraging you you're able to you're able to level up so that's why I love church and hope hopefully hopefully to speak to somebody that's listening right now because it matters man it matters like you hear a lot of people testimonies young adults going to church and and their family is not even believers and they support that because they are bringing that positive energy back home you know and that's what that's what it's about and what you call positive energy is it's, it's the presence of God I mean it comes from 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 his will from his word you know what i'm saying so yeah hopefully you guys just help you guys you know what i'm saying realize why i do those things and i'm gonna explain more things in the future also okay so stay tuned i hope you guys have been enjoying my videos i haven't been bringing as much as i can right now but i will in a bit soon i'm looking to get somebody to edit my videos so that i'll be able to present you guys a lot more content Hey, y'all seen the thumbnail, right? And it's crazy because I'm about to talk about it and a lot of people about to get offended and probably lose clients. So stay tuned. But before we get into the video, here is intro. Intro. Uh-huh, uh-huh, Hey guys, please go check out the shop at diverse.shop. It is a jewelry for dreadlock and braids and hair basically hair jewelry not just dreadlock to be honest with you you'll be able to find uh five options of what i have here uh to pick from and then you pick any of them and basically put it in your cart and as soon as you put it in the cart i'm actually giving you guys a discount of 25 percent off for each item or two dollars off you guys have seen a lot of people do uh these type of styles or they start off your dreads with these type of things methods they they use and it's a great way to start it but is it really dreads so that's what we're going to talk about today what is dreads so dread is basically a combination of your hair well some people call it locks some people call it dreadlocks some people say don't call it dreadlocks because of how it was used back in the days but that was back back few years back but if you go ancient time back like really long time back Dreadlocks was actually used as a term. I don't want to get into that argument. You know, some people call it dreadlocks, some people call it locks. I don't want to get into that argument. I know some people have done videos over that. Go watch that. I might do one in the future. But dreads is basically where your hair is clumped up together and basically it's intertwined with one another, holding each other together with the root going down to your head. So for those that are getting like fake dreadlocks, I don't really call that dreadlocks until your hair actually grows and starts to lock and that becomes your dreadlock so till then you really got wigs and that's what that's what that is you know what i'm saying and i'm not hating on you you do you 
I'm gonna expose one thing that is not that I've been looking and I'm like, there's no way that's a drill lock. You know, that's why y'all y'all having issues with y'all drill locks. This is why you guys having a lot of problems with, oh, my hair is not locking up. Oh, whoa. I went to a loctician and it's like, first of all, the people that call themselves locticians should start calling themselves re retwistition. I don't know if that makes sense, does it? No? All right. What they do is they retwist your hair. They coil up your hair. So I did a video on basically how to start your drill locks through a coil method. Uh, through a coil method, but I've never said that's a drill lock. So basically, if you twist your hair, right, grab a clump of your hair and twist it one way or the other way, counterclockwise or counter counterwise or counterclockwise. You basically what you're doing is you twisting your hair. Uh, they put locking gels with that, um, and they call it drug locks, you know. And they use like a little, what is that? That little comb that they use, and then they twist it around the comb, and then they let it go, and then it just falls down. It looks beautiful, it looks nice, and. Don't get me wrong, that's how I started my dreadlocks. But my dreadlock was not dreadlock till it reached the maturity of locking itself up and holding itself together. So it didn't become a, a dreadlock till it locked up. So if it's twisted, it's twisting like this, right? Versus locking is like this and like that and different. I uh, went to somebody that knows about dreadlock, which was Gunther the Grey at that moment, and he helped me lock my dreadlocks. Uh, I could have bought a crochet needle and did it myself, but I knew it would take a long time to do it, and he was willing to do it. That's how I started my dreadlock, but the coil method that I used previously before the dreadlocks was not drill locks at all. So whenever you guys go to a locticians or people that do hair, what they start you off with is a coil method. So they give you basically a coil method that I don't see them using no, I mean, sometimes they interlock it and stuff like that, but I don't use them using no crochet needle or which is the fastest way to get drill locks or having it coil up and letting it mature to where it gets to a drill lock. So some people do do that. Oh, I started my drill locks journey. You, you did start your drill lock journey, but you did not start drill locks. You don't have drill locks yet. It's not locked, you know? The word locked, that lock, locked. Lock it, okay? I think you, I think you get my point. So I'm not here to hate on anybody, and I know some people would comment some things right now, but I'm just trying to tell you that is not drill lock. Stop calling that drill lock. So you can call it drill lock journey because you started your journey, and in the future, in the near future, probably three, four months, it will lock itself up. And a lot of people, the biggest, 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 biggest mistake that they make right here is after getting this thing coiled up, what they do is they wash their hair. What are you? Doing. I don't know if the loctician told you that, but you need to go get your refund. You know what I'm saying? If the loctician told you that. If they didn't tell you that, then bruh, like, why are you washing your hair? How often should I wash it? Should I wash it once a week? I've had those type of questions. I'm like, what are you talking about? You just got it coiled up. If you're going to wash it, it's going to be a curly hair. I've done curly hair tutorials, and that's the method that I use. I literally coiled up my different part of my hair, and I washed it, and it became curly hair. That's literally what curly hair is. Washing your locks starter locks so please guys don't do that and this is what I this is basically the answer a lot of people question that have been asking me uh bro like why my hair keep coming out is it because I have a straight hair is it because of this and that and mostly it's because you just started your dreadlock journey but it's not a dreadlock yet don't wash your dreadlocks to the matures up or get the fastest easiest way and get, get you a crochet needle in the inner lock and basically and basically start your dread journey so I'm gonna tell you the story and uh, that's what kind of like sparked that idea of me doing this video for you guys plus the different questions that I've been receiving from you guys it is I was delivering food to this one guy so I pull up to this um, I think it's like a shoes like they sell shoes at the place like uh, it's like a shoe department place um, and so I pull up there's a store I went in and I give this food to this guy and he looks, he sees my dress, he's like, nice dress, bro. And I said, nice dreads, you got a nice dress too, but are they dreaded or are they just locked? And he, he didn't know the difference. Are they dreaded or are they just twists? And he kind of didn't know the difference. He said, I started my journey uh, like a few weeks ago or something like that. It looked good, right? And I think, did he die? I don't think he died. If he died, he probably would have came out. But that's the second biggest mistake you guys can ever make is dying your dreads after getting a twist. Not dreads, a twist. I locked my hair and in the same day I got my tips dyed. But some people, what they do is they get locks 
an optician place and they go get the hair dyed somewhere else, end up having the locks to come out. So I met this guy, he told me, uh, so I asked him that, so after he answered me that I said, what you need to do is get you a crochet needle. And he said, what is that? Showed him what that, is, what that meant and I told him, go subscribe to my channel because you will see more content that I will be dropping about this issue that I've been seeing. So recently I went and got a retwist and this is the aftermath of the retwist, right? This is after a few weeks of me not sleeping the right way properly and stuff like that. I did make the mistake on that. But I'll tell you this, it came out. Why did it come out and why did this not come out the end of it? Because those two different things. This got retwisted with just twisting method. Uh, twisting method or coil method is a method that you get your section pretty clean and also get your drill lock at a point where you see the thickness of it. So that's how you see how thick your drill lock is. Once you coil it up, it gets if it gets very, very thin, just know that your drill lock is going to be a thin dread. So it's not going to be very thick. If it is a decent size of coil, then you will probably end up having a size like mine, okay? So my dread is about 50 to 55. So that's a size, decent size if you wanna get the thickness of my dreads. If you got any more than, than like 80, I would say, and over, I would say you've got thin dreads. Thin dreads are created usually when you go to a lactation and they lock it with that little thing that I showed you guys earlier, and that's the result that it brings versus a thick dread like mine, you use a, the same method, but you actually section it out how you want it to be. And you want to have about 50 to 55 dreads to get my thickness. If you go anything lower than that, it'll be very thicker. If you have anything below 30s, I would say you have a thicker dreads or thick dreads. If you go down to 10s and low, very thick or wicks. Uh, you probably have wicks or con a bunch of Congos or something or free. Form. That's the same advice I would give you guys that I gave this guy uh, is to get you a crochet needle and actually lock your hair, man. Lock your hair. And you guys be able to find gr uh, great deals on uh, different websites, but what I will recommend is greatlocks.com. It's Gunther the Great, that uh, the person that helped me lock my dreads and gave me an actual, a actual crochet needle to help out with the process that I'm going through. So in the future, in the near future, what I will do is I'll crochet needle all this side, and you guys will see me how I do that. I have showed you guys how to do that before on how to start your dreadlocks. Click it, click here if you haven't, if you haven't seen it, but I haven't done it fully to where I actually have a lock because I wanted to go to a professional loctician so they can separate my hair and so that I'm able to see my sections again before I lock them up. So that's the only reason I didn't lock them up fully with the crochet needle. Next video, upcoming video is gonna be exciting because I've kept this like this for about four weeks and so I'm gonna be taking it out. So in the next video, I'm gonna be taking out my dreadlocks and I'm excited to see the length of it. This is not the length because it's, it's been twisted and stuff like that and you know, I have braids and stuff like that. And so, when... seriously? So once I take it out of there, you'll be able to see maybe some curls going, uh, some curly dread going on, maybe not. But hope you guys got a great advice on this. Make sure you check out the previous video. But till next time, keep acting diverse and creating your universe. Stay tuned, you dig?